I think it's working. Yeah. Okay. So, shh, Eli. Shh. Um, so pay attention. Like I said, this is going to be a really short video. So just pay attention real quick. Follow along in the book. Um, so what the shelf module does, so saving variables with the shelf module, what that allows you to do, like I said, is you can save um, a dictionary, you can save a list, you can save Python variables to a, it's not necessarily a text file, but it, you can save it, creates a file in your current working directory that you can, that's then read by Python. So if you have a list, like you see here, we have the cats, Zofi, Puka, and Simon. Jesus, guy with cats. <laughs> um, you can save those so you don't have to recreate the list or you don't have to read a text file um, that's just a bunch of names and then add those to a list. You can save the list in and of itself. You can save the dictionary in and of itself to a file. Um, so what you do is you have to import shelf. It's, uh, you have to import the shelf module. And then what you do is very similar to opening an actual file. You do shelf.open and then this right here Where's my laser pointer? I lost my laser pointer. Is it under pen? No, it's under uh, in, uh, it's under uh, pan. It's under pan. Uh, thank you. Add that. So right here, you can see this right here. The my data is the name of the file. So when you do create that, I think I have an example of it. Um, I don't, so I don't know where, um, but it basically creates, it actually creates, I think, three different files, and each one of them is used um, together to get to save the information. If you open it, if you try to open it, it says, what app do you want to open this with because your computer doesn't know how to open it? Um, so my data is the name of the file, and then what you do is you have your list created here, and then all you do is you do your shelf file, then you have your keyword, right? This is very similar to a dictionary. That's a question in the review questions. Um, cats is your keyword or your key, and then this is your value. So you're saving your list to the name cats in that file. Oh, okay. So well, this, how, does it know to shave it, how does it know to save it to uh, my data? Oh, because it's just- Because you have oh, shelf file here. here. This is the one that, oh, it's the one that's, oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have the variable shelf file here, which corresponds to my data yeah. and then you have shelf file and we want to save this under the key cats and we want to save the value or the the list cats to that name because okay, so what's the actual file when you open it look like uh when you try to open it you get uh or um, um you open. we can't open it you need a certain app okay um, so well here i'll just then why would i ever use it if i can't open it because you have to open it with python so, well, I'm just going to copy the book. So, import shelf, shelf file is shelf.open my data. So, now that I've created, oh, hang on. Um, OS dot change DRR. And I want to change my current working directory to Python scripts. So I'm going to copy and paste that here. And then let's just double check. Okay, so now I'm in Python scripts and I want to say create that. So now that I'm here, if you guys, I'll, on, where's my mouse? There it is. I'll bring this over and you guys can see these are the three data files it just created. So you have a data file, a directory file, and a, I can't remember what BAK stands for. Back. Back. Back file. So these three, if you try to open one of them, how do you want to open this? Open it in Photoshop. <laughs> I'm not going to open it in Photoshop. Um, so Windows natively doesn't know how to what to deal what to do with these files. So once we've created that, um, once we've created that file, we'll go um, people and so this is what I wanted you guys to do for your homework with the fellowship so I'll go fellowship is wait Aragorn Legolas yeah, I don't know this one. 
Yeah. Let's you just create this. a file name that says one ring and then put, what was it again? Yeah, there one was a number one. two to that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there's yeah. <laughs> You guys need to go through the whole assignment. I thought number two just said read the book. I yeah, wait, it did just. Uh, I thought it was pretty. Oh yeah, it says read pages one eighty four to eighty five and do it. Yeah, I didn't get that. I just like oh, oh, did you read the book? Who read the book? I no. Okay, yeah, okay. I did. Did so I didn't know how to create a folder because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh yeah. All right. So regardless, I now have this list here, right, named fellowship. What I'm gonna do is it's shelf file um, fellowship. I'm creating the key here equals fellowship. Right, right. Sure, sure. Shelf file dot close. Okay, now how do I call shelf file so you can actually use the information in there? Um, shelf file dot uh, keys. Um, oh, hang on. Looking good, man. Oh, you have to type, okay. Oh, hang on, I'm over here. Ooh, oh. No, what I do? Oh. Oh, I forgot to open it after I closed it. <laughs> They're like, what are you trying to do? I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, see, so it tells you uh, invalid operation on a closed shelf, meaning I didn't open it. So. When file that opens? What? When did we learn the whole shelf thing? This, uh, you were supposed to read, you are supposed to do it on your own. Read the book for that one section, the page and a half and then practice it yourself so that you came today knowing it. Yeah. So now that I've opened it and I go shelf.fellowship. Hey. So so then I can do, like I can move things between Python files. That would be why I use that. Yeah, so you could save it. Yeah, so for example, if you're doing a video game and you want to save your dictionary or your inventory because you're closing, or you want to be able to save your game. You save your game. I can you update my fishing game. You so can I update your really fishing save. game. Fishing game. You would save your inventory to this file, and then when you load the game, you can load your inventory back into the game and not have to redo it all. So this is one way that people save games. You guys ever wonder how all the information that's saved in a video game? It's lithium ion saving. Lithium. Okay. Zelda was the one who. Well, do you guys ever think about what it actually remembers? Probably just remembers where you're placed. Well, it, it remembers where your camera is like looking at. I, don't know, I guess. Yeah, all it is is it records positions and inventory, and then when it's done, it goes, "Okay, this character. I'm loading this character, and all this character save information was in this file." It also, has to remember the quests and all that. And all that's your all that's in an inventory, right? In some form of an inventory, all that's saved. And then it, all it does is that it loads that character each time. Like it's not just it's what the entire world it doesn't get saved, right? Where everything is, it's basically check marks in a box. Did the you do world this? Is saved somewhere else. What? The entire world is on a different file. File. Is on a different file. Yeah. So your saved character. So you don't want to save an entire game map. Yeah. That's exactly right. I want to play Unless you're going, no, I haven't played Minecraft, so I don't know. No, but when you walk into a city, loads that loads. You have to load all the chunks. Around guys, the if you start building and then you go ten thousand blocks that way, it still loads that one block ten thousand blocks away after you build it. Yeah. Okay. Again, I've, I've never played Minecraft. So I've never played Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. How do you never? Play? Yeah. I'll give you my account, man. You can have it. No, it's Probably. fine. Um, but that's like when you walk into a city, then it loads all these things. It loads, okay, I've talked to this person and said these things. And that's necessary. That may or may not be saved with your character. I don't think it would be saved with your character because that would be a lot more information. It's probably saved with those individual people. And as you walk into the city, it loads, okay, Zach's characters talk to Eli's character. Eli's character is an NPC. Um, and these are the things that they've said. And it loads it only when Zach walks into your city. Um, 
and then so one other thing you can do is you can see um, you can see the values so if you do a list you can have in your shelf multiple multiple lists so we'll add oh wrong one so we'll go up instead of retyping all of this we'll go elves Arwen Elrond Legolas so then what we do is we don't want this we'll type in elves uh, I thought I, I didn't think if I was if I hadn't closed it I didn't think I'd get an error what do well, we you do? Just put shelf file elves equals elves and then just call elves. Oh. You haven't actually saved it in a shelf file anywhere. Thank you. Elves equals elves. And now when we do this. Thank you, Ryan. So now that I have multiple lists, I see that one, two, three, four, five. All right. Um, Nothing. I'm just making sure people are paying attention. Some people are, some people aren't. So, um, where do I get? Where do I do the keys? So what you do is you can do a list, and this tells me the keys that I have in my shelf file. So you can look up to see what you've saved, inventory, characters spoken to, locations visited, blah 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 blah, um, and then you can also list the values so this is now this list here this index of the keys list matches the index of the values list right because this is one yeah, index zero of this list is the same as that right so it's well ordered yeah it's the same order Alex why is the other dictionary in the, in the file as well say that again what a, why is the other dictionary in No, I saved elves and fellowship. Okay. So you see, so this is my fellowship here, and then these are just elves. Okay. And I added both to the one file. I added both to one file, yeah. So Ryan, or, if you well, Ryan and then Zach. If you don't put list around them, what happens? Do, 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 do. Uh, it just basically says they exist, but you're not telling me to do anything with them, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> Zach. So is like, this yeah, transferable there. between like scripts? Like if you were to open up another file, you could. Mm -hmm. But you had to. How would you? You'd have to get your current working directory. So you'd and have also, to go. Like, it wouldn't be set a shelf file anymore. You have to set. You have to reset it. You'd have to reopen it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's shelf. And then pretty print. The pretty print is basically is the exact same thing so as I, we learned last last chapter. Um, but you can do it with um, information you get from a text file that you're reading. Ryan. So the difference between shelf and just opening a TXT file is that I could save like lists into a shelf. Yeah. Or dictionaries or things like that. Or images. I don't think you can save images, no. You would save an image as an image I'll file. Save my huge gallery of images of exactly how. All right, do you guys have any questions? What? Do you remember web design? I do, yes. One-handed hamburgers, how can I help you? All right, guys, do you have any questions on chapter eight? Questions on chapter eight. What are the three things you have to do in order to correctly read and close, or um, open a file in Python? There's three steps. In the that's one of them. Well, that's pre-step. Uh, so you have to open a file. Open parentheses. Right, you have to open the file, so that's open whatever. With the W. And then if you're or just reading one. it, then you read or write to it, and then you have to close it. If you don't close it, it doesn't update the file. Right, as you saw here, if I don't close my shelf, I can't open it, or I can't read it. You have to close it before you read it. Any questions? Wait, so you're 
Zach or um, Eli than Zach. What line did you close it there? I haven't yet. Okay. Then how are you reading from it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I closed. No, because if you actually went and opened the files, it wouldn't be there yet. Because you're still in your code, I think it's okay, right? So you. Okay, if you were. Oh, because I've already. Cre- I want you to create them. If you have to open. If it's the first time you open it and then you write to it and then you close it and then once you open it you can read from it. Yeah, but you're just reading, you're not writing. Yeah. Yeah. It's this sort of stuff is just you gotta get used to it. Trial and error. Yeah, uh Caleb and then Alex. When you say read do you mean not the function read, but like read the file? Or do you have in order to read it in Python you have to close it? No, if you're reading it, you can. You open it, read it, you can read it. Right? You can read the information, and then when you're done, you close it. But in order to open the file, you have to close it. In order to open the file, it has to be created. Or op- or when you open a file, some- it creates it on its own. If it's a new text file. If you're creating the file, right? So if you're creating this text file that I created with all the issues, mm-hmm. I don't have to... I just open, um, write to it, and close it. Until it's closed, it's not updated. Oh, okay. Okay. So if you do all this and forget to put uh, file.close, when you double click on it, it won't update. Does that make sense? You have to close it in order for, I, I, what I meant to say is you have to close it in order to read it outside of Python and have it be updated. So if you don't have .close and you open it, it's not doing what I want it to. What's wrong with my code? Well, you forgot to hit close, and then it doesn't update it. All right. 